Hi, and uh, welcome to the last part of uh, the Vivada Chalets, an example of hardware acceleration lesson. In the last part, uh, we will study how to make software implementation of the 2D non-separable filter, and I will show you uh, just one technique for boosting software implementation of the 2D non-separable filter. And then finally, we will compare. We will compare software boosted implementation of the 2D filter and hardware implementation of Vivada Shales IP Core. I will run both algorithms on my target. Uh, I have uh, Zinc Ultra Scale Plus connected with um, RAM Cortex A53 uh, with two cores. Um, there are several techniques for boosting software uh, running on RAM Cortex A53. One of them is just themed extension or neon sub core, some processor, or uh, another one it's um, multi threading IPs, like for example OpenMP multi processing IP or per thread. In the lesson, uh, I'm not going to give you a lot of details about all the software boosting techniques because actually. Uh, I have to create um, another new lesson uh, devoted to the topic, but I will show you just how to use OpenMP multiprocessing IP for uh, software implementation of the 2D non-separable filter. Before we start, uh, let me show you my project in Vivada. It's my project that will be loaded on my PGA. So here I have uh, Zinc Ultra Scale Multiprocessing System. Here I have Vivada Shales. It's a, a fast implementation of the 2D non-separable filter. Uh, the IP core is connected to XDMA. XDMA uh, to uh, stream read and write channels. And uh, let me show you. Uh, let me show you settings of the XDMA. So here I have uh, buffer length it's, uh, 26 and uh, pay attention please on um, the memory map and the stream data width. It's equal uh, 128, so as we discussed before, that uh, I will use all uh, full uh, bath for Zinc Ultra, Plus, Ultra Scale Plus. So um, uh, I have clock wizard, so it means that uh, my XDMA and my Epicore uh, will work uh, with clock equal to 200 MHz and um, I have uh, connected both uh, reading and uh, writing memory mapped channel of uh, the XDMA to uh, Zinc Ultra Scale Multiprocessing System. Uh, by using slave ports and uh, width of the slave ports uh, is equal to 128 as well. Um, so uh, let me introduce my uh, software application. Uh, my software I will com I will compile by using Chorus compiler. So uh, here I have. Here I have my uh, CC file and uh, make file. In my make file, I just put fopenmp f open um, flag, uh, so it allows me to use um, it enables me to use f open mp ap. And um, uh, on my target, right now I have target connected to my. Uh, com port so uh, this is a this is a file system of the target and uh, here I have libraries and uh, I have all necessary libraries it's a lib comp it's a library that uh, will be required for OpenMP IP multi thread and IP so uh, about uh, my software uh, here I have 
here I have uh, here I define roles and calls. It's like for the wider list, and uh, here I define kernel. Kernel is equal is the same as we uh, define it for the wider list. Then uh, here I have a function for controlling my XDMA. Uh, and uh, this is uh, my uh, software implementation of the 2D non-separable filter. So here I just uh, comment uh, Pragma. This is a Pragma is used for making uh, OpenMP multi open MP multi threading So right now I just commented because first of all I'm going to demonstrate how uh, this program works without OpenMP, and then I will uncomment and. Uh, I will show you advantage of the using multi-thread and IP. In my main function, I have uh, uh, I declared uh, three arrays. First array, it's a test array uh, that uh, I filled by um, random random values. So I will use this test array for uh, like input for my hardware implementation. For it means for my XDMA. So it means that my XDMA will read from this array. Uh, and uh, as input uh, uh, and as input array for my software implementation of the 2D filter. And uh, here I have two additional arrays. One array it's a test hardware array. So it's an output, it's an array for uh, writing output from XDMA. So XDMA will read data from test array to Vivada HLS IP core and then read back to <coughs> the test array, uh, test hardware, sorry, array. Yeah, and for software, for software output, I will use test uh, software array. So here I will put um, outputs uh, from software implementation of the 2D non-separable filter. And uh, I will measure time, time processing for hardware uh, implementation for IP core, and I will measure um, time processing for uh, software implementation of the 2D filter. And finally, in the end, I just will compare, I will <coughs> compare both arrays and uh, a difference I will uh, write to difference variable and uh, if uh, the difference variable is um, different from zero, it means that um, uh, I have mistake and it means that my outputs are not equal. So, of course, um, they should be equal. Yeah, no doubt they should be equal. Let's uh, compile our program. Just we'll make. Okay, here I have executable file that just I will copy to, uh, to, uh, to file system of the target. And uh, here I have my terminal. Okay, let's check. Yeah, we have a file here. We should make it executable. Okay, let's check. Okay, so um, what we have. As we can see from a uh, message from the, our program, um, we uh, hardware processing time takes about three milliseconds, and software processing time without uh, OpenMP or multiprocessing uh, IP uh, takes uh, about 179 milliseconds. Um, and uh, let's uh, compile uh, the file by using OpenMP um, multi-thread and IP. So I just will delete and I will uncomment. Okay, I will uncomment this program, Pragma. Uh, and uh, let's com compile again. So just print make. Okay, here I have executable file uh, that I will copy uh, to my target. 
and uh, right now let's uh, run the program on our target um, okay. okay so um, what we have okay uh, so as you can see that software processing time becomes uh, uh, almost in two times less than uh, before using OpenMP uh, multiprocessing API. Why so? Because actually I have uh, my target with Sync Ultra Scale Plus and uh, with Cortex A53 uh, that have uh, that has uh, two cores. So it means that uh, so that's why, for example, so that's why our processing time become uh, less uh, in two time. In two times. Okay. Um, and uh, <clears throat> let me remind about uh, processing time from our Vivada Shales project. As you remember that uh, direct implementation, direct implementation uh, took about um, 63 milliseconds. That is less than software processing time. So it means that we can use just a direct implementation. It will be faster than software processing time. Uh, uh, with uh, OpenMP multi-thread, but of course, uh, if we will use Sync Ultra Scale Plus with Cortex A53 uh, with four cores, um, in this case, uh, our uh, direct implementation of the 2D non-separable filter uh, or our hardware acceleration will be um, slowly will be slow than software implementation. But but if we consider uh, optimized. Uh, optimized implementation of the 2D filter in Vivada HLS. It took about 16 milliseconds, so optimized it uh, without initiation interval uh, and uh, it will be uh, faster for either uh, two cores or for four cores uh, Tink Ultra Scale Plus Cortex A53. And finally, of course, and finally, if we have uh, fast implementation of the 2D non-separable filter in Vivada HLS where we are using um, uh, where we use very wide uh, memory map to bath um, or uh, data width conversion it allow us uh, to uh, get a very extremely high performance if uh, compared to software software implementation so uh, summarizing today's lesson I would say that uh, Vivada HLS it's um, quite a good uh, tool for create uh, high performance hardware acceleration so please consider to use Vivada HLS in their projects because it has a lot of advantage in front of traditional RTL design and by using VHDL or Verilog languages. And um, of course, uh, I recommend you to use Vivada HLS uh, with um, different uh, techniques for increasing uh, for increasing throughputs, like for example data width conversion, like for example clock clock domains. Uh, all these techniques uh, will um, uh, help you to reach extremely extremely advantage into your project. Thanks a lot for your attention. So, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to uh, write comments uh, or write to me directly by using email.